can we actually make a wearable computer that's the intellectual extension of yourself? And that's what I've been trying to do for the past 20 years. What we're really looking at is, is a couple of different things with wearable computers. Um, can we actually do these, these fast, supportive things with a computer like this one? Um, that's what Google Glass is exceptional at. But can we also make a computer that's more intelligent? Can we actually make something that sort of knows what you need before you know it yourself? One of the things that's very exciting to me is can we make these intelligent agents that basically can see as we see, hear as we hear, and look at what we're doing with our hands, look how we interact with the world, to learn what it is to interact with the world. When I'm traveling, um, having you know, the, uh, the maps is amazing, knowing where I'm going next, knowing the traffic data, right? Um, having a field trip, having uh, these little joyful moments in my life when, oh, well, this is the site of the first uh, uh, house in Harrisburg, and this is where the, where the ferry used to be across the Susquehanna. That's really cool. That's really exciting. It seems like a silly thing, but you miss that when you don't have it. It's, it's, it's part of your world that you wouldn't get otherwise. You know, when I'm on vacation, I'm one of these people that never takes photogra photographs. I don't like living through viewfinders. I don't know if you ever see, you know, uh, people at their kids' plays, and they all have their, their, their cameras up or their phones up, and they're living through the viewfinder. They're actually looking at the framing as opposed to looking at their kid. When I was out uh, on vacation in Kings Canyon in California, I'm looking out of this meadow, this, this, this watery meadow, right, uh, uh, in the midst of a strand of redwoods. And as I'm staring out there, I'm just kind of letting my brain rest, a black bear comes up right in front of me, like right here. And you know, he had just been swimming underneath the water and just, pop, and just pops out. I'm like, what, the, what is this thing? I think it's a beaver or something, but then I realize it's huge. And so I was like, okay, Glass, record a video. And I'm backing up, right, uh, to stay out of the way of the bear. But I'm watching the bear. I almost run over the people who are behind me who had come up to take a photo of the bear on their cameras, and they don't watch it, they're not watching where they're going. Um, and so I think that's one of the things that's compelling about these devices as well. They allow the technology to get out of your way so you can actually live, I believe, more fully in the moment.